Hello, my friends. How are you? I hope all is well with your family and friends. Let's stay healthy and well. Once again, I want to thank you for coming by my channel. I'm so grateful for all your support. I cannot thank you enough. Please watch the video to the very end. And if you haven't already, please hit the word subscribe and um, also click the bell icon for you to be notified for new video uploads. And hit like and share. Leave me a comment so um, I can go back to you and respond to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So today, I would like to share with you some of my thoughts about self-love. Self-love is a very mm, varied and deep subject matter to discuss. In my capacity and life experiences, my awakenings and self-realization, I will share some of the most common knowledge and thoughts with you that what I have experienced. It has more in-depth pictures and presentations, but I will add more videos to this one and then um, this is only just my introduction about self-love. So, love is a universal feeling and connoting to all aspects of life. It is the glue that holds the earth together. For without it, we would never have existed at all. To start off, we were made and created out of love. For if it were not about love, we would perish and punished in hell as our destiny. We were saved because God loves us through his crucifixion, through the crucifixion of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. So Rumi wrote, what do you know of love? Since love is loyal, it purchases one who is loyal. It has no intent in disloyal companionship. Oh my God. That itself is a big, deep, and wide a variety of discussions to be undertaken. So, to continue, love is an intense feeling of deep affection. It can be maternal, fraternal, patriotic, or romantic. It is a great interest and pleasure in something, a formula for affection, not for profit. Love is a complex of mixed emotions, behaviors, and beliefs associated with strong feelings of affection, protectiveness, warmth, and respect for another person. It is considered to be an attentive and patient. For many, true love is something that you only fully understand when you feel love and experience it yourself. The definition of love in the dictionary does very little to explain the complexities of true love. 
The word love does not carry the same weight as its true meaning. Love goes deeper, farthest than affection. It is much stronger than when it is pulled away from you. You are in for a train wreck. It is a fact that some people are going to love you no matter what you do. And some people will never love you no matter what you do. So it's always best to choose and go where love is. But always remember this. No one can love us the way our Creator, Maker, or God do. For any encounter in our life, He is always a part of it. And never forget that nothing on earth is forever yours, but only the love of the Lord endures. Helen Steiner writes, the poet says, everything in life is passing, and whatever we possess cannot endure forever, but ends in nothingness. Everything we experience in life serves a purpose for eternity. Everything you need is to fulfill our eternal destiny. So we must prepare for our destiny and that is walk, talk, and act as if it will be the last moment in our life. Easy to say, but hard to do and to follow. But we just have to try. The human heart is the reflection of the spiritual heart. To love self is to protect your life, present and future, that you don't find yourself in a predicament that could have been avoided. Have you reflect on each decision before stepping into your action plan. And in making decisions based on the grounds of love, that is empathy, consideration, and kindness. Rick Warren, the book, the author of the book, he says, the best use of life is time. To protect yourself from future heartaches is awareness of the situation and understand the consequences of each decision and actions we undertake. As they say, if it doesn't bring you love, peace, or positive energy, stop engaging with it. Simple as that. Of course, we cannot be right all the time. Mistakes from one decision, but make sure that you have a ready plan should you hit into a rock of heartaches, pains, loss of love, rejection, betrayal, deception, lies, like you are involved in a third party connection. We cannot be perfect and our emotions trick us. Always know that you are loved, you are enough, you are worthy, and the separation is not about you. They make a boo-boo <laughs> and it's their loss. So the lessons that we have learned from a difficult encounter will create in us wisdom. 
you have become wiser, stronger, and this time around, during a new and or next encounter, you are much aware and able to care and nurture yourself to protect you from a hard downfall. This also goes with business, partnerships, and friendships. And one thing for sure, you know that you don't beg for love. Meet people where they are and sometimes leave them there too. Every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. What we saw is what we reap. And when we choose actions that brings happiness and success to others, the fruit of our karma is happiness. And so thank you for listening. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit like and share on the bell icon for you to be notified for new video uploads. Let's make life light, easy, fun, and be an inspiration. Be a sunshine to others. Shine your light so you can give hope and inspiration to, to those in darkness. Be a reason why someone falls in love to this. Be a loving, living example of the goodness in life. Leave a legacy behind that you will be at peace when you are no longer in this earth and that you made a difference in someone else's life. Awaken your sacred dreams, my darling, for only you can make it come to life if you put your heart and your mind into it. Behind every fear, there's a miracle waiting. So good luck, God bless, take care. I love you, I love you very much. Take care, my darling. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.